So you may be wondering how uh, 75 laps of racing in three separate races plays out for a Daytona championship. Well, we're going to give some highlights here of how last night's race went. And it was entertaining, and it was good battles, and it was fun racing. So let's get into it. To get things started, we had to start with a false check, which was actually sort of funny because a ton of cars jumped, which led to a, a first start, which had one driver take a hard right into a wall, a few others slip and slide, some ghost. It, it was a little bit of mayhem. And the best part was that it was sort of a start reversal with the slowest guys starting in the front of the track. So anyways, we're gonna get this race going. Short laps, right? Right off the bat though, you have this one driver who snuck in here, should not have probably been racing with us. This is about clean racing. Jay Lou was all about just rubbing people the wrong way. Uh, and, and we're gonna find that out because actually, I am the first person that's about to get taken out right here with him pushing me up into the wall and just running right through me. So right off the bat, at the beginning of the race, Jay Lou spins me out, but I recover like a freaking champ if you ask me. That's enough about me though, because the real race is still going on up front. And what you have is a Toyota Supra that is completely running away with the show right now. F around, find out right car choice like smart move we know that that's actually one of the fastest cars on this track and everything going on behind you right now is insane especially with this one driver sam lit 117 another one who seemed to sneak into this race who i didn't actually see what was going on until race two and that was actually as far as this driver made it but you squirrely bro i don't know if you're drunk if you're high if you're strung out if you're going through withdrawals something's going on and and you are all over the place. Like, hold your line and don't ram other cars. So let's jump back up into the front. We got F around find out. We got Bearded Shark. We got DS 1126. These guys are just going for it. Three laps in and racing is extreme. Like, you got 25 laps of racing and, and you're pushing so hard in these first couple laps. I sometimes don't quite get it, but I do get it because it's racing. Anyways, we jump in with Bearded Shark. Wait until you see what happens here because this dude's recovery, better than mine. Better better than any other race. 90 degrees to the track, somehow gets it straight again. I think some of that was due to the, the other, uh, who was that? The better's life maybe behind him, alongside him, like straightened it back out, stayed with the pack, but now is dealing with Jay Lou, who we know is also not a nice driver right there hitting him again like these two drivers definitely snuck into this race they didn't last long they didn't make it through three races because they got booted for dirty driving anyways these guys are still going at it we got f around find out in the supra pulling away holding on to the lead we got everybody else back here making some mayhem happen if you race clean and actually help each other you'll catch up bump drafting is the key to this like you can actually go from the back to the front with some teamwork. Jumping ahead to 13 laps, the Better's Life 24 was in the lead, comes into the pit, gets some gas, gets some tires, is, is actually didn't even get tires, only got gas, which is an interesting one. So gets his gas, comes out of the pit, stays up in first, and is still rolling strong. And then you got the Bearded Shark. Now these two... You got two four GTs. If they start teaming up together, they could run away with it because they will just bump draft all day long and pull away from everybody. But right now, that's not what's happening. Right now, you got the Better's Life, Bearded Shark, F around and find out in the Supra. Whose race is it going to be? Who's going to win? You're about to find out because now we're on lap 25 and the Better's Life is still just running away with it. So it came out of the pits, running out of gas probably running as lean as possible right now just to make it to the finish line and is he gonna do it of course so race one was sort of entertaining sort of not race two same thing in the start a couple cars jump Oop, yep caught you a couple cars didn't start it, it was a little bit of mayhem again now i knew that the slowest racers were going first so in qualifying maybe i didn't start 
it didn't go as hard as I could have. But here we have Sam Lit again. This is what got him kicked out of the racing. Is the way he was driving and just trying to run cars low and high and taking them out. That, that wasn't how it was going to be. So for the first handful of laps, though, what you did have was two Supras and two Fords pushing it up front. Teamwork makes the dream work. Shaking and baking. So Tabras and D Quickster and I in our Fords, we were bump drafting all day long. Couldn't pull away from the Supras, but we were pulling away from everybody else and staying with them. And that was fun. Like, they weren't getting anywhere. Somehow, Sam Litt is, is making a run for it. Not quite sure how he pulled up to us and caught up, but he's going. We're going to keep doing this for a handful of laps until Sam Litt is up with us. So let's jump up there a little. And there we are again. That shot right there. I just love that shot. It, it's such a great angle. And D Quickster, boop, giving me a little love tap bringing me up to Superland, we just couldn't get around him there was nothing we could do i was trying and now sam lit is just coming to mess up the whole party if you're not going to race clean all you're doing is slowing everybody else down and that's what's not fun we're trying to actually race you're trying to just steal positions by banging this is what got you kicked out bro you, coming down the straight just slamming into cars on the side that's not cool yeah you did it to me again right there too and, and you're going to do it again, and you're going to do it to the Supras. Sam, dude, if you want to race with us, it's good, but you got to race clean because you're not going to make it, and you're going to get booted out. That's just how it's going to be. Your name's written down on the list, man. It's going to be a long time before you can jump into one of our lobbies. Anyways, we're at lap 6 of 25. Fuel's going to start running slow soon. Tires are going to start getting a little more slippery. What's going to happen, though? that's going to be where things start to get real because again it's pit stop management you got to know i i didn't know what to do that's why i would go from third not finish in third I, I didn't even finish in the top three of the championship because my pit stops were so awful that i ran out of gas 12 million times anyways we're jumping up a lap we still got sam lit bouncing off the freaking cars Bro, what is it with you? Can you not? All right, all right. You're drunk. That's all it's going to be. I'm giving it, I'm giving you a hall pass. You won't race with us again, but you're drunk. You can race with us again if you prove that you can actually hold your line and not bang cars. Okay? Cool. I appreciate you for coming. I appreciate you for leaving. Uh, did you see that move I just tried to pull? I almost took do Quickster out, and that wasn't my plan. I, I'm not going to lie. Like, Sam was really getting frustrated, and he shouldn't have been there, and I was trying to make him go away. It didn't work. Because I have ghosts set to very strong. And now all he's doing is slowing the super down. D Quickster, F around, found out. They pitted. They were smart. They got away from this craziness. Why didn't I follow? I don't know. Probably because I wanted to run out of gas again. Maybe that's why. We'll find out. Lap 10 of 25. We got Sam still going all over the place. Don't know why he didn't get an off-track penalty there. Probably should have. Like, you hit him again. You hit him again. Dude, why? You hit him again. What is it with this one driver? I, I don't get it. Anyways, I finally made it into the pits. I almost ran out of gas that time, I guess. Didn't quite. Unfortunately, Sam Litt followed me. Preston followed me. Reported who jumped into this race is now taking the lead with the Better's Life 24. The Better's Life just knows pit stop management. Knows fuel management. Knows all of it because always up in the front so we're back at this i come back out i'm still in third and here comes d quickster again why is this a good thing because we work really well together and the bump drafting is the move and we will just work that all day long unfortunately this is another shot of him bump drafting me i was doing it the same way it just helps you cover ground in the in the third race you're actually going to figure out and see how much ground we were able to cover by working together. And I think that's the key with this track, is really just partnering up and being strong with whoever you're working with, racing with, driving with. I coasted into the pits because I did run out of gas there again. I, I don't know why I ran out of gas four million times. 
I'm gonna come into the pits. I'm gonna throw some cocaine covered tires on. Don't they look like they're covered in cocaine? I think that's why they're a little slick when you first come out. I'm gonna fuel up because why not? I keep running out of gas. And the best move I made here, I didn't even get a full tank. That was a mistake. Anyways, we're jumping back up to the front. The better's life is in the lead again, just like he was in race one. This time, though, he's got Sam lit the drunkster all over his rear freaking bumper. Sketchy McSketchenstein. Luckily, he goes in pits again. The better's life is going to start to run away with it. Dude is just on fire tonight. I'd say it's the car he chose, but I was driving the same car. So final lap, though. Check this out. Reported skir skirts right on by him with some speed because he is running out of gas now. So he is running lean. He is actually losing P1 because of this. But this final move, I'm going to let this one play out for a second because you got the better's life, Preston, reported, hits Preston hard enough that launches him, like springboards him forward by a couple car lengths, which is the winning move. So reported while didn't take P1, did give Preston the winning move with one of the closest races of the night all three of these guys came through almost at the same exact time preston did squeak it out which is awesome preston is actually a d racer too beating out the b's and the a's it was solid race three only one person jumped and it was i think because this was their first race here but it was still mayhem and it was still bumping what i will tell you is that sam lit is out because I gave him the boot for being a dirty driver. And uh, we're in a pretty good place for this race. I, again, didn't worry about my qualifying time because track details, race details, it says slowest guys are going first. So why do you want to put in a quick quality time? I don't know. And it started to pay off. I started to pull away. Bama golfer, Bama golfer, Bama... What's your name, bro? Bama golfer? Bama golfer? I don't know. Oh, Obama golfer? Not really sure. Anyways, I was up front until Rusty Valentine hit some green arrow or snuck some nitrous into his car. I don't know what happened, but this dude shot forward like it was nobody's business. Covering probably four or five car lengths and taking the lead on one straight. I don't know if, if he got bumped and I missed it or what. And then, unfortunately, F around, find out, came down and moved into me. I tried to slide down, you'll see right here, but he just came into me so hard that he took himself out, which was unfortunate. I didn't want that to happen. I didn't mean for it to happen. Just was bad timing and racing, I think. Good recovery. Way to stay on it, though. Didn't fly into the infield. Got back out there. I do feel bad about that. Let's jump back up to the front. Rusty Valentine was still leading. T. Davis was new to this race, a little squirrely as well. I, I don't know what was just happening with the screen. What, I, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just trying to share some highlights here. So, whatever. Anyways, it's me, Tabbers. D. Quickstar again, bump drafting me, and J. Ailes, who these three, like these three cars, the last lap of this race for P1 through P7, I think, was incredible. There... It, after 25 laps to have the finishes be as close as they were was just great to see it was great race and it was so much fun anyways d quickster and i are bump drafting away we jump into the pits at the same time early though like i managed to blow through a ton of fuel maybe because i was up front i'm not sure but we were a lap before everybody else this i think was where we went wrong i had no choice because i was going to run out of fuel but this was the last we would see of the front. I still don't quite understand what happened. Anyways, D Quickster got out in time. He and Jay Ailes now are up front. We're lap 14. They led a few laps like this, quite a few laps like this, actually. And they're running away with it. But the reality is they have to pit again, too. This Somehow this, I don't know. The pit management was key here. I've said it a couple of times. Because we're at lap 17, their fuel's running out. They got Rusty Valentine and the Better's Life and reported and Bama Golfer behind him. Like, 
those guys have already pitted again. So we know right here, Quickster's going in. I think JL stayed out for one more lap. Yep, he's getting the fuel. I don't think he's getting tires here. I pit again because I saw him pit. Now, the big difference here was can I come out of the pit in front of him? That was honestly my goal. I know this driver, but I also still wanted to come out in the pit in front of you. I'm sorry. It's just how racing goes. So while D Quickster did get a full tank of gas, I stopped just shy of that, which let me get a jump. JL's up in the lead, is now going to run out of gas. You, you're not going to make it through six more laps on less than a quarter tank, bro. But I get it. You want to hold on to the lead. Can you do it? I don't know. We're going to find out. Nobody thinks so. Nobody watching this thinks so. So you ended up pitting. Rusty Valentine is up front. The better's life following him. These guys have enough gas, right? So we're going to skirt, skirt forward. Let's skirt, skirt forward a little more. We're going to come into the final lap. A lot of racing is happening here. First and second, you have the better's life and Rusty Valentine. Third and fourth, you got reported in Bama Golfer. Fifth, you got JL sort of alone, but not for long, because Tabbers and D Quickstar are bump drafting right up to him in the last lap. Like, you see these two guys reporting Bama Golfer. They are inside one another. I hope they're enjoying it. Because if they were smart, they would have bump drafted, pulled themselves up. D Quickster and Tabster, we pull ourselves up to JL's coming into the last couple turns, which was crazy. One lap to go. We were we were back by a full straight. Bump drafting caught us up. So now we got three people going for fifth. That is a race in itself. We got first and second coming into the finish line. They're inside of each other. Which one's gonna pull it off? I don't know. Who do you think? Coming around, they're still inside of each other. There's no bump drafting here. They're just trying to win the race. But unfortunately, I don't know how drafting works when you're inside of the other car. What I do know is that Rusty Valentine won. Bama Golfer and Reported, same thing. They were inside of each other. But now the race for fifth comes in. These three cars were just going at it. There was no letting up. There was like, oh, it's only for fifth. No. Tabber is me. I'm just trying to hold on. But D Quickster actually comes in and gives JLs a little bump, which shoots him forward to take them. So anyways, that was three, three races in one night. Enjoy.